The sound of Timothy Batchelor's television was lulling him to sleep around 3 a.m. on February 3rd until he heard knocking. He now regrets answering the door. And I was like, what are you doing? He was like, you know what I'm here for? And that's when I realized it was the landlord. He says his landlord, Jeffrey Salazar, was demanding a rent payment. Bachelor's brother Gary got up to handle it, so Timothy returned to his bedroom. I sit in my room for about maybe a minute, and that's when I hear, I'm going to kill you. And I walk out of the room, and I see a gun being drawn from his waistband pointed at my brother's head. Timothy then tried to defuse the situation. And that's when he points the gun in my face and puts it in my head. He was like, I'll kill you right now. He says they usually have until midnight on the third of each month to pay rent, but Salazar insisted he needed it right then, and things took another turn. As soon as I got my shoes on, he tells me to come out here. I come out and he had the gun pointed right here. Like it was like maybe an inch away from my back, and he guided me to his car told me to get in. Gary called 911, watching as his brother complied and followed Salazar to the car. I was scared. I was like, hope he don't do nothing stupid that's going to get him killed. Timothy says he suggested a nearby gas station, hoping to cross paths with a police officer along the way. I was over here like a little worried because he's swerving too on the road, along with a gun pointing at me. So I'm like shaking in the car. I didn't know if I wanted to hop out or if I should stay in. He says Salazar then followed him closely up to the ATM inside this Speedway gas station and knowing the gun was still in his waistband, Bachelor said all he could do was stay calm and get the money so no one would end up hurt. The only thing I could think is I got to save my family. I don't care about myself or anything that happens to me. I just want them to be OK. He says Salazar dropped him off about a block away from home, knowing the police had been called there. Bachelor ran back, happy to be alive. I was thankful for that night that the cop was there for me. Yeah. Court documents say Salazar had a couple grand in cash on him when he was arrested that night. Detectives also found a loaded 9mm handgun under his driver's seat. One week later, Bachelor can't help but replay the memory over and over again. I feel like he's going to come back and like try to hurt me or my family, and I don't know. It's just like a constant feeling I have to feel. Reporting on the West Side, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News.